All right, guys, welcome back here with the hunting SOBs. We want to do a gear drop because we've got season coming up. What? Two, two weeks. weeks. Two weeks. Freaking two weeks. Velvet hunt. Three I'm days. Telling you what, can't wait. I've been dreaming of this since what, January, I guess, since we stopped. But we wanted to show you, and like new saddle hunters, we've been doing some teaching trains with uh, the tether teaching trains. So we've got like kind of our progression of what we have rolled through, and then got some options that some of our buddies run here um, that we'll show you as well um, like what we used last year saddles what we used last year sticks and then pretty much I mean we all run a lot of the same gear right yeah but we've got some difference it's pretty close we've got some differences but all right we'll kind of go run through um, last year saddle mantis tether mantis very nice um, and actually, uh, the cameraman here is going to be running it this year. Yes. Red. That's exactly right. New saddle hunter, new bow hunter next year. Um, this year, we're all three running the Phantoms. Uh, pretty much the big changes, you've got the adjustable bridge. You see, I guess everybody probably has already seen this, but you've also got the wider lineman's loops, really awesome. And then you've got the comfort channels. Um, as far as sticks last year, all three of us ran these, what are they, 30 inch? 31 30, inch. 31 inch Hawk Helium stick. I think you can still get these sticks for like $99. So this is what the man behind the camera, Fred, running this year. These are the uh, 17s, is that right? 21. 21s, okay. Um, they're not mine, I'm just telling you what you can use. I think they're, no, they're 17. Yeah, that's right, 17. 17. I was gonna say I thought they were 17. That's just the new Hawk Alien stick. They're around what 130 bucks for four. Yeah, one 130 for four to so, the door. Probably one of the lighter sticks on the market that's in a budget stick. But yeah, like these, I said, the full length ones are three pounds a stick. I'm not sure about these. The uh, 2.2. Right? Yeah, just a shade over two pounds each. Yeah, that's what I think they. And as a matter of fact, these uh, out on a limb, uh, out on a limb shikars uh, made by Matt Garris, which is a super cool guy. Uh, this is what we're all three running this year. Seventeens. Uh, these yeah, are we're running the original seventeens. Um, pound and a half a stick. Yeah, I can't like even express how small these sticks are compared to other sticks. Nothing. But with these sticks, they are. There's a little more fiddle factor with them. I don't know 100% sure. We've all talked about it. Whether we're going to leave the leave it like that or run them in a fixed set. I mean, they basically break down like this. And pack up. They really pack tight. up really tight. And you can actually see that on some of our packs yeah. here. Yeah. So we've got them packed up pretty tight, like how I run mine. So it's really nice, and they're really light. And then this next stick over is the new carbon fiber timber ninjas. Um, they're actually even, are they a little bit lighter than a Shikar? What are they? Well, they weigh, Brandy. 1.2 pounds. They're yeah. probably within two or three ounces of band. And they've got this pretty sweet built in aider. Yep. Slides in and out. So they're very light. There is no movable parts on them. Uh, there's going to be no fiddle factor at the base of the tree. Or whenever you're tired and been hunting all day and you got to pack back up. Um, yeah. The standoff is a little bit shorter. Um, I don't, I mean, he, Brandon doesn't have an issue with it, but they are a little bit shorter than others. Would, would mention that on the Shakars, is the standoff is pretty tall. And very sharp. Very sharp. So it's gonna, st it's gonna really catch the tree good. Yep. So that's, that, that's basically the some climbing option sticks. Yep. And we're all running with the the Shikar sticks, a one-step movable later. Yeah. And we're looking at. And I'm I'm the shortest. I'm five nine, and I think I'm figuring I'm going to get about 20 foot in my platform. John's probably going to get more than that. Jeremy's a little more than me, but anyway. I run the uh, Ebler stock X2. Um, I'm not a minimalist. Uh, I, I like to have my gear with me, so I run a little bit bigger pack than they do. Um, but it holds all my camera gear right where I want it. I like to have options of where I want to put it at. Um, I love the side pouches for having my camera arm, my fluid head. Um, and then with this, I can also just insert my platform right there. I can put winter coats in the big bag. I've got my rattling antlers in there. 
Um, and then as you can see, I put my six down there in the bottom and everything packs up real nice. Um, I believe this pack right here runs about four pounds. So it's a little bit heavier, but to me, I weighed out the options. I like having more stuff on me. Um, it's not much way more weight, but I like having the options of carrying a little bit more if I want to. Um, it's got zippers everywhere. All right, so I'm running the Badlands Dash Pack. It's very lightweight, and I run my sticks horizontally. I think this is actually intended for like a bow or a rifle holder, but that's why I run my sticks. It carries so nice. Um, my platform, pretty simple. It's right on the inside. I run the Predator platform. All three of us actually run the Predator. And the only thing I did is I wrapped it so it wouldn't wear a hole in, in my pack carrying it that way. Uh, I run a out on a limb reach camera arm. It's really small. That's what I like about it. It fits in this little pack. It adjusts good. The base is small on it. We'll show you these camera arms on the tree here in a minute as yep. well. And uh, that's basically all I carry. I'll strap my rattling antlers right here. Um, maybe throw a bogging or two in there. I like the dash pack also, because it's got a it's got a pistol holster right here. I like to carry a gun with me whenever I hunt. Um, and it's hard to do with the saddle, unless you got a chest holder. So Jeremy's got a Walmart sack there he wants to go through, so. I have no idea. I think it came from Academy. This is my, this is my pack. I, unlike these guys, I guess John probably is the one that would really carry the most of all of us. Uh, and he likes to have a lot of stuff with him. If I could get away without carrying a pack whatsoever, I would do it. Filming and saddle hunting, it's pretty much impossible. I mean, you, there's some options where I could get down. I mean, basically, I carry my sticks in a vertical position. Is this a Magellan? Yes. Magellan. <laughs> It's a Sam's choice. <laughs> but anyway, uh, then I actually run my, my Predator platform over on the side. And then my camera arm here, and I just strap my rattling antlers on the side whenever whenever I carry the rattling, rattling antlers. So basically the only thing that I actually do carry on the inside um, is my snips, which I just bought this year. So I upgraded what I'm carrying in because I never carried snips before. And then I've got my uh, Woodhaven. My God, I, I know you turkey hunters have probably heard of the Woodhaven uh, turkey calls, but you know, get their deer deer calls and their grunt tubes and stuff. It's amazing the sound that they put out. Um, then basically, I carry my my camera arm base in there. That's it. I don't carry anything else. So. <laughs> this is a 17-inch car stick that's actually on the train or on the tree. We are running the 764 Amsteel. 764 Amsteel daisy chain that Jeremy made. Um, this one over here, we'll come on over here. This is still again on the tree. They're all very solid sticks. This is just the rope mod that we tied down. Again, very solid. On these 17 inch heliums, you got the Versa strap on here. So there's no, you can buy these, I think, off the tethered website. This one over here is the Timber Ninja carbon fiber um, with the retractable and, um, aider on each stick. I really like that stick. It's, uh, it's, it's very light. It's, well, and now good. if you want to come over here, I would like to show you my baby. Oh my God. Yeah. So Jeremy's a little upset. And this is our, this is our archery range. Right? Yeah, this, yeah, we've been shooting. Show them the... Show them the tree, Fred, that we shoot out of. So we've got permanent sticks set up, and uh, we just throw our predator up and shoot from hunting heights. It's pretty awesome. And we've got, this is our family farm back here, so we've got all that we want to shoot. Pretty fun. And that's actually what we're doing today when we decided to do this gear dump video, so. Fred, the cameraman, he's running the Tri-X. It's my Tri-X. Derek, his baby's the, the new VXR. That's my VXR right there. Love it. I'm running the VXR, and she comes home with me every night. And then, there's, a vertex. and then there's a Vertex. I don't know why they hate. I'm the one that kills all the deer anyway. <laughs> the 
it's almost as tall as he is. 42 yeah, uh, inch axle to axle. No, 35 axle to axle. Well, the original 35. So uh, bought it new last year. Still using it this year. We'll see about an upgrade next year. Yeah, that's a good bow. We just like to give him a hard time. He'll be shooting the Matthews next year. Or he will, he won't. And oh, I'll, I'll big, a big reason why, uh, I'd say a huge reason why I shoot a Matthews is uh, our local archery shop. It's a huge Matthews dealer. Probably have one of the best Bowtechs in the state of Tennessee. I would agree. I no actually lie. drove one day and I hit three or four different archery shops in the same day. And I knew about Lawson's Outdoors and their archery shop, and I was going to try to find the best of the best. And um, I ended up coming back. And, and hands down, I mean, I'm not saying it because it's in our back door. I mean, their archery shop and their their support there at Lawson's, it, it, it is. It's great. It's and great. It's, and it's so nice being able Very to go. Very knowledgeable staff. Yeah, being able to go two miles down the road to get an answer on something. Or so if you guys whatever. don't know Jeez. about Lawson's, you guys need to look them up, especially if you're local. And if you don't have been in there, I mean, they've got everything you need for your archery setup and even your gun setup. But I mean, my guy, even if you live two hours away, you drive yeah, down and check it out. It's a cool place. They've got a lot of stuff. They've got the best prices around. And uh, we also have a Mexican restaurant, Loretta. So come down and see us. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But, you guys, y'all have anything else? Bow season's about to start up. Yep. And then, so... Please like and subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate it. We've, we appreciate all the support you guys have given us. I mean, and, and we love doing it. I, I mean, there's times that it gets difficult, but we, if we, I mean, we're trying really hard this year to really focus on clear footage, shot placement, and, and we're, I mean, we're going together. I mean, last year we said it a hundred times, we're learning. Guess what? We're still learning and we're hoping to do a little bit better this year. And um, we appreciate all the also, support. Also, I'll take the camera for a second. And uh, I'm gonna film this guy right here. So I'm gonna film him this year, um, trying to get his first archery kill. First bow kill. He, he picked my, up a bow about two months ago. That's yeah, so. my first time shooting, and uh, I'm looking forward to, to putting one on the ground with it. Yep. I will give him credit. Like, he just picked up a bow, and he's actually pretty proficient. Would you, you guys say he's done a really good job with it? But this is his first year bow hunting, so. first year saddle hunting, and when that first deer walks out, it's going to be hilarious. It's gonna be, I'm going to be, I'm going to be shaking. And we're hoping to get some of that on camera. So for all uh, you guys tune enjoy. in for that. Yeah. Just, yeah. just for that should alone. be a good show. But, hey, and I also can, we'll probably yeah. do some hunts over here with Brandon, even yeah. though he shoots in the week. So, well, yeah. Again, we like, like Brandon all right. We keep him around. Y'all like, yeah. subscribe, check out the hunting SOBs. Uh, was it Instagram? Instagram, That's Facebook, Facebook. Uh, follow us there. Jeremy's our uh, social media guy, if you can tell. <laughs> I don't know how to use it. But peace. All right. Thank you. Peace. Your girlfriends, they told you that men are all alike. All we think about ourselves. Cheat and we lie, and the minute you turn your back, we done hopped in the sack with some floozy. Yeah, I know I ain't a saint, you figured it out, but I sure ain't the kind of guy they're talking about. I ain't your ordinary SOB. Though looking at me might be hard to 